Indeed. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thanksgiving just passed. We are inside. Oh, yeah. Wood Green Studios once again. Chillin', chillin'. Episode 9. Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't really come up with an official name for the episode yet, did we? Nah. Nah? Eh, whatever. Hey, we we'll just call it, um... Holiday Hodgepodge. Holiday Hodgepodge. Mm. Whatever. Yes, DJ I Monkey in the Wood Grain Studios. DJ Caveman. Yeah, man. We're here once again for another Saturday morning conversation. Yes, indeed. So how'd your uh, Thanksgiving go, my man? Yo, Thanksgiving was, uh, it was good. It yeah. was good, you know. And you like the host, too, right? Yeah, we hosted, man. Um, 15 people, maybe. Oh, right. uh, It was cool. What time you started cooking? Shit. Uh, it was, dinner was like, dinner was scheduled for three. All right. And then you throw in, you know, uh, the... one stove, food delays. Mm-hmm. And then plus I ran a 5K in the morning. Oh, shit. So yeah, that, damn, that took right. like a couple hours out of cooking time right there. But we ate about five, five o'clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was good. It crushed my turkey once again. All right. You know what I'm saying? I do like a little citrusy bird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were talking about that. Super delicious. Uh, uh, came out moist. Ham came out good. <laughs> it did. It was moist. <laughs> a lot of people hate that word. Yeah, I, I've been hearing a lot yeah, of people. Yeah, a lot say of that. people hate that word. They're like, oh, moist is such a dirty word. But I'm like, it was the perfect descriptive. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it, it's primarily for like food. Because if it's because dampness is also moist, yeah, but dampness. But dampness is more for like clothing. Like this is a my shirt is damp. Like you don't want to be like I got a moist shirt. That, yeah, like, that's gross. Yeah. But you can't have damp cake. Yeah, nah. Nobody's nah. eating damp cake. Nah, nah. Damp but like cake. moist is like a ah oh, yeah, this is good moist cake. But but you know what though, like from guy to guy, it's not a hetero thing to be using the word moist. It's just not. It does it doesn't. Come across I think hetero. it is. Like if. People walking by here, you saying moist to me in a conversation, not really know what the conversation is about. That They're going to assume it's about pussy, though. Either that or something, yeah, something sexual. But yeah. It's like, uh, it was just two dudes talking about sex. Like, Doesn't mean we're having sex with each other. Uh, that's yeah. gross. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that also is I'm not is really a fan of word. that. Nah. But, you know, moist is, uh, <laughs> moist is definitely a hetero word. Okay, You're about to get that pussy fair. moist, bitch. Well, yeah, if that's the, if that's the that's sentence. That's a perfect that's sentence. Gonna, yeah, if that's Nobody the sentence wants that you damp want pussy. dictionary. You don't want damp pussy. No, 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 no. You want, it's got to be wet or moist. Or moist, yeah. yeah you like, yeah. You don't want it damp. Damp got gives that it pussy a rankness to it. <laughs> damp, yeah, damp sounds like it got mildew. Yeah, yeah, like, damn, I got some damp. <laughs> or maybe we just, uh, that's the new term for terrible, uh, stanky pussy. It, we'll just call it damp. Well, I'll... I'm not experiencing anything new outside of what I got. So I'm well, good. yeah, right, fellas, the single guys that are experiencing new sh- new shit, because um, our monkey and I, we're uh, yeah, our play days are over. We're yeah. in the coaching uh, field of things. We hung up, hung up the card. Yeah, yeah, I'm you know not, what I'm saying? I, no, I got and nothing wrong with that, because uh, I got you know. kids. I can't be playing. Like you know, I'm looking out for these new age players, so I'm a coach trying to coach hey, the kids. It's a young man's sport. It really is. It really, but, it really fellas, is. the single guys start using the term damp when describing terrible vagina. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Be like, yo. You know we have female listeners, too, so if they hear the, uh, the description of damp, <laughs> then they're, they're going to know what the deal is. It's Actually, like, we need to submit that to the Urban Dictionary today. What, damp and moist? Mo- damp. Yeah, uh, damp. And, like, terrible vagina. It's, you know, and see if they pick it up add a word to the urban dictionary yeah cause I think people got uh, hit to the ranking like yo <laughs> man that shit was shabba ranking you know it was loud <laughs> like ugh. which is now a, the, a description for we like bud like oh loud oh yeah oh yeah loud like yeah. it doesn't make any noise no but it just and when you if, you if it's really really good you're gonna smoke it and you're not going to be loud because you're yeah, going to be cool. Yeah, but, yeah, oddly enough, and I don't know how the term really came about, um, but I know it, it smells like it's loud. Like, woo, what? Like, it just has that kind of weight to it. Now, I... Some, I loud is not a smell. Yeah, well, I say it's bright. Ooh, it's bright. Oh, it's bright? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wow, it's bright. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so, 
yeah, I've, I've come across some brightness in my life, so. Gives you that good Vicks Vapor rub. Yeah, it, it opens up your eyes, you know. It's, it's a different kind of medication, I guess, you know. It's the difference between, you know, your neighborhood pharmacy and, you know, prescription-based shit, you know. You, you get shit that's just brand, and then you get shit that's engineered for, for, for brightness. <laughs> you know no doubt yeah but yeah try to stay away from the rank and the damp <laughs> yeah stay away from the damp yeah you know but e- either way I, honestly I'm at the point where it's like and I probably and I talked about this before about my way that I would prefer my kids to approach dating where they're of the age to not do it because they're going through puberty <laughs> And right. they're dealing with their own change. Now they have to deal with somebody going through their own change, not really knowing who they are. And now they have to be not just responsible for their change, it's the other person's change and be responsible for their emotions and their well-being. It's like, it's way too much, you know? Just Plus, keep it you, simple. When you start that early, that's how you get damn pussy. Yeah. N- nobody oh, wants that. Man. And without... <laughs> and, Without dropping names, oh man, I remember yeah. back in sixth grade, homegirl had like three kids. I'm like, oh man, and then back, and then in high school, she had like five, and then she wanted to try to play cute with me. I'm like, I'm, not, I'm all set, I'm I'm good, you know, I'm I'm straight. You know, <laughs> I, so, I I know that I know the I know the Carfax. <laughs> oh damn, <laughs> moving along, <laughs> moving along. <laughs> Thanksgiving was dope. Yeah, the Lions yeah. lost, but. Yeah, well, you know, later, later, on, later on Saturday, Michigan Ohio State happens, and the revenge tour will finally be complete. Uh, for my Wolverines, yeah, yeah well, Ohio State is pretty down this year too. Yeah, and that's fine with me. We're about to fucking step on their throat. All right, all right. Well, they're about to step on their throat. I'm not playing no fucking football. Speaking of Michigan, you see how uh, Trey Burke of Michigan showed up for the Knicks the other night, they beat the Celtics. Though they smashed them. I remember, I seen the score. They were like, oh my, like 30. Oh, well, no, the, no but now the Celtics made a mean little comeback, but Trey Burke, he was making some timely buckets towards the end. So it was either him or Tim Hardaway Jr., another Michigan uh, alum. That's right. So, you know, yeah, the Knicks are playing respectable bad ball. You know, they're not, <laughs> like, like if they're tanking, like they're, they're losing against teams that. They should know, lose to. Yeah, well, no, not necessarily because they're supposed to lose to the Celtics, but they're, they're winning games that they're supposed to win. Like, you're not supposed to lose against the Nets, even though I'm from Brooklyn. I don't like the Nets, so I just call them the Nets. Not know, even where they had Kerry Kittles? No, nah, I wasn't rocking with them with Kerry Kittles, even though I was a Kenya Martin fan and, and um, uh, Jason Kidd. Yeah, I saw Kenya Martin when I went to that Big Three shit. Oh, in Boston? Nah, we went in Detroit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, Kenyon Martin's my dude. I, like, it, I remember playing video games. I, I've always traded for him. Like, he was always that dude that I loved. Yeah. Yeah, but nah. I like, and who's the other dude? Jefferson. Richard Jefferson. Oh, yeah, Richard Jefferson. Yeah. Funny thing is, is me and my cousin call him Bright Idea because his, his head is shaped like a light bulb. <laughs> oh, shit. It just looked like he got a bright idea just stuck in his head that he can't get out. So, so we just call him Bright Idea rather than Light Bulb Head. So yeah, Bright Idea. Nah, I was never a Bright Idea fan. <laughs> but yeah, man. So wait, you said that you ran the four, uh, the five k, right? Yeah, I ran the five k. Yeah, uh, the was the time Semper Homes Family Turkey Trot something something. What was it? The what? The Sutter Home. What the? Semper, oh, oh, oh. Semper Homes. I think they're like a loan company, something. Oh, I thought it was um, that wine company. It was a good race, out. you know. We got another cool T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, it was cold. Yo, holy was... shit! I think when the gun went off at ten o'clock, it was only like it was sixteen degrees. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the hawk was out. Yeah, nah, it was uh, it was not sexy when it's that cold. Uh, when you're breathing, it just feels like you're just yeah, taking in fire, like through your nostrils. Mm-hmm. Um, but wait, what's worse, cold air or hot air? Yeah, they're the same. I mean, the muggy air is just as bad for you as the mm-hmm. super cold air. Uh, like, you really want it to be, like, mid-70s, kind of dry. Yeah, that's ideal. It's, yeah. like, ideal conditions, you know? 
Uh, probably, I would say, for me, I prefer like a little bit of a brisker air. Mm. Like I don't mind running like like forty, fifty degrees. Yeah, it's a little easier on the lungs. That was one of the problems that I had when we used to have to train, where we used to have to run the mile, and it used to be in that coldness and breathing in that cold air. Oh man, that shit used to like it felt raw in my nose. Oh man, I hated that shit with passion. You know, that's one of the downsides. But hey, you know that's some of the training that you had to go through, win some championships, I guess. But when's your, you have any other five Ks coming up? Uh, December second, so next weekend. Next weekend, the okay. Christmas jingle something something. <laughs> the jingle all the way. Um, thinking about where thinking about wearing my deer costume. If anybody that follow me on social media, y'all know what I'm talking uh, about. Now, if you ain't following me on social media, then you should, because mm-hmm. uh, yeah. my shit is great. As I put uh, my head down and I shake my head, the dare costume. You're really going to run with that dare costume? No, man, it's the holiday season, man. You so see? so I take that as a yes, you're and really going to run with most that Most likely, because that shit is toasty. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I pretty much wore it all day yesterday after the race, mm. and uh, mm. I just had that on in, like, my jersey. Oh, yeah, 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 Detroit. Yeah, man. You didn't see the picture? Oh, no, I saw it. Oh, okay. I, yeah, you know, I, I probably yeah. liked it. If I didn't like it, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, so you keep it festive, man. Mm. You know, also it's warm. Yeah, you know. it, yeah. It's one if of it was like a thin deer suit, I probably wouldn't wear it because it wouldn't be warm. Yeah, because that, that's the thing that people really don't know is um, mascot costumes are warm. <laughs> I remember I had to do that one time when I first started working for the uh, YMCA label out. Uh, for me to get extra hours and some overtime, I dressed up as, what's the fuck? It was a fucking owl, I think it was. And I was like, oh, you know what? Hey, this is three hours of overtime? Shit, hey, I'll dress up as an owl. And I was young at the time, so it was like, hey, I, you know? Yeah, you're right. I was just hustling. It wasn't about respecting my, 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 my integrity, and I got kids, <laughs> and I, you know, I'm down and out. You know, nah, I was in that time. I was still young. So. Yo, I always wanted a little mascot job, but I didn't want to be, like, on the street. Like, with the dude dressed like uh, the Liberty Tax. <laughs> flipping the <laughs> flipping sign. Flipping the sign and shit. Uh, I, I want someone oh, yeah. to be, like, a sports mascot would have been cool. Because when you're a sports mascot, you get to, like, do, like, fucked up shit to people. And they just kind of, like, go roll along with it. Oh, I think it's just the character. Yeah. Yeah, like, but I've seen I've seen. I mean, some... you can't really, like, slap the shit out of people, but, like, you can, like... Oh, uh, like fake dry hump somebody? Fake dry hump, a dude's girlfriend, and he's just going to go with it. Or and put, or like if you uh, put like yeah. the, the face like you're licking them, right. like the girl. You know, you can just walk up to people and just like give them little hugs and shit, or like you can just like, yeah, yeah, you, could do you can like taunt people, like you sit, just you just can fuck with people. Yeah, you could do and that. And they don't know who you are, so it's not like they're going to be like, well, wait till after the game. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And like they're Catch not going to do outside. shit because they know the camera's probably on them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And... Who wants to get arrested at a sporting event? For snuffing the uh, mascot. For snuffing the mascot. Everybody loves the mascot. Right. <laughs> you know, as long as you stay within the boundaries of the law, you can, like, taunt people and, like, <laughs> like steal their popcorn and shit. Yeah, but I've seen some cases where mascots got snuffed, too, so it's like, yeah. You yeah, can, you can't be inappropriate. No, you got to pick the right ones. And you gotta, yeah, you got to pick the right yeah, ones, too. Yeah, yeah. You got to build it up. You got to... Do some funny stuff and then slap their popcorn out their hand because they were in like the wrong jersey. Uh, you know, then yeah. you send them a new popcorn, mm-hmm. come back, slap that shit out their hands again. No, see, like the way that I'm picturing it is I'm picturing you as the Tyrone of mascots. It's me, I'm Tyrone. And <laughs> yo, get that cigarette out your hand. Yo, and I'm gonna fuck your girl. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just picture you as that type of mascot. Like, <laughs> just rolling up on dudes. Like, and they're just looking at you like, Excuse yo, me. what the fuck this guy? Yo. Y'all heard someone gave Tyrone the head up? Nah, I've seen so <laughs> I've seen some ways like yo, some dudes just just turn around and they're like yo, who's this guy and just start walking away, and then I've seen like it's like a group a, a group of three of them and they all just stand up like yo, and then the camera stops and they cuts <laughs> yeah. to the scene. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like somebody, they got to be videos. I'm gonna have to search, man. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. See if uh, I, this Ty- been, Tyrone, I, like you can't do that shit to everybody. Nah, you got to pick the right ones. But, like, some of the dudes he d- does it to, you're like, 
Yeah, that's a big ass dude too. Like. Yeah, but Tyrone is a big dude too. So it's like it kind of equals out. It's like, yo, damn, this dude really had enough heart to just come up on me and slap the cigarette out my hand. Yeah, now we're about to find out. Yeah, how yeah. much heart. Yeah, yo, this dude didn't know what I had to do for this cigarette. Man. Right, you know <laughs> yo. what I'm saying? Like, what if that was your last cigarette? Mm-hmm. You had a rough day at work. And the store and is the, not going to open till the, 9 o'clock? Yeah, like, <laughs> you work the overnight. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You tired of shit. It's your last cigarette. You just want to go to bed, but you also got to stay up because you got to get more cigarettes. But it's 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yep, saying? Yeah, yep. You waiting for the bus. It's cold. Yeah, Lord forbid you got kids that you got to walk to the bus stop to. You know, and you just light it. That shit gets slapped. Man, we're fighting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, okay. First, you're what? not just going to slap shit out of my hands. I don't know you. We're fighting. Mm-hmm. But you slap the last cigarette. If I'm a smoke, I don't smoke. But, you know, if it's the last anything. Yeah, like my French fries. The la- Yo, oh, my God. <laughs> Come and slap some French fries out your head. Yo, you know that grease is going to kill you. Like, what? <laughs> what? Like, who's you that be slapping food out of my hands in the first place? Yo, there's not even no talking. Yeah. You slap some shit on my hands, like, you better have your other hand up because I'm snuffing you out. But you know what, too, I think really throws people off is that camera. It's like, yo, like, number one, you just slapped it out my hand. And then number two, you got this camera here. Like, yo, what the fuck's really going on here? Like, yo, you trying to really set me up? You know I'm on my second strike now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yo, yo, you really trying to get me locked up on some real-time shit. Like, like, I don't know, though. It's like... I've always, some people say it's scripted. I don't think some of those things, maybe some, but not all of them. Like, I'd probably say, like, probably 5% is probably somewhat scripted, you know? But other than that, nah. Fuck it. Go viral, dog. Hey, you know what today is? Um, today. What's today? Today, I believe, if my research is correct, this is the 25th anniversary of the Doggy Style album. Oh, bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee. Snoop yippee. Dogg. He got, a, he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame this yeah, week. Yeah, like, Snoop's man. having a good week. Yeah, man. Uh, Smile, bitch. Smile, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so That's shout out to Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Real for real. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. You know, that, I banged that album still. Mm-hmm. Like, it's easily, like, in my top five albums. Yo, man, and I still get guff for having Snoop in my top 10. Like, nah. No, well, because some people are like, yo, Snoop is white. But see, Snoop's been around long enough to have some whack material held against him. And oh, that, yeah, like the whole Snoop Lion thing is terrible. Yeah, that, yeah. That, and then he yeah. did the gospel shit. Oh, uh, the Snoop Lion, yeah, that You that, know. I mean, I, I'm not a huge fan of the No Limit years, but he played some dope songs that, during that time, too. That first, yeah, he probably had, like... That first No Limit album was, was pretty straight, actually. Mm. I thought I told you. I was a No Limit soldier. <laughs> uh. Yeah, one of the smartest moves in P's career. Was Sign of Snoop? Sign of Snoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he had a lot of questionable moves. Like, well, I mean... Yeah, well, well, he put oh, out oh, an album, like, every... Two weeks. But you know what, too? Like, people don't really look at business like baseball, where if you had, if you hit on 30% of all your tries, you're basically an all-star. Yeah, right. You know, especially if those hits are Over tiny your career, hits. you're a Hall of Famer, 300, as long as the oh, rest yeah. of your shit is together. Oh, yeah. But, so uh, it's like, people figure, all right, you know, oh. Snoop failed with one album, so therefore, overall, he's a failure. No, if you look at his percentage, he's... Now, nah, Snoop's a hip-hop Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yes. And and just the fact that like his whole style was fresh with, to the whole gangster scene, because... Yeah, he had like that smooth... Mm-hmm. That smooth West Coast rap, like it was gangster, but it was like low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, did this dude just slap me? Like, what yeah. the fuck just happened? It was, it was real. <laughs> it was real pimpish. Yeah, yeah, you know, but it wasn't too short. Like, it wasn't like bitch. bitch. It wasn't <laughs> like that, you know. And it wasn't E forty, you know. But it wasn't like NWA. Yeah, or and all that like super one. hard or spice one. It was mm-hmm. like smooth. Like I'll slap you. Yeah, and then I'll take your girl. Yeah, and then you know all that. Doggy style, you know, and he had that that like pimpish like voice sound. Yeah, he, yeah, silky smooth. Yeah, 
Yeah. And, and you know, and then. <laughs> you got that Terrence Howard. You got that Terrence Howard tone. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, brother. <laughs> Can I borrow that CD? Nah, my brother, yeah. you need to get your own. That 70s, like, <laughs> funk wave, you know? like, mm-hmm. And it fit perfect for at the time for what Drake was doing. Yeah. With the heavy, like... Yeah, the P-Funk. And the heavy the G-funk. P-Funk and G-Funk, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that, that was a perfect storm. What's your favorite Snoop Dogg song? Uh, Doggy Dog Grill. Oh, that, shit. That, offhand, that, that's one that's of one my favorites. Dope, that's what a dope intro, intro too. Mm-hmm. Um, shucks. I, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite songs, but it's one of the like ones where he transitioned was uh, "Beautiful" with Pharrell. Yeah, that's a meow, dope song. Meow, meow, meow. That's a good little like smooth party starter song. Yeah, the yeah. motherfuckers is just rolling in and shit. I, I like I like the new song that he did with Anderson Park. Anywhere. Oh, I haven't heard that yet. Oh man. Oh Snoop. Let's see. It, it's one of those songs where it just has a nice chill vibe to it and like Snoop is the man like again like he's had some questionable stuff like with Snoop Lion and how he basically got ran out of out of the culture like no 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 we can't have this fuck that you can't be perpetrating yeah they 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 got they didn't even did they even did anybody buy that record um like the numbers must have been like I think the company bought it plywood damn I think that's what happened if anybody bought it. Shit. So, yeah. yeah. You know, my favorite Snoop Dogg song is The Shiznit. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. The yeah. Shiznit is my favorite. Like, my favorite Snoop Dogg. Like, mm-hmm. Above, yeah, the and then, is the Shiznit. Uh, 187. All right. Oh, uh, Deep Cover, you mean? Deep Cover. Yeah, yeah, Deep Cover. All right. Yeah, yeah. 187. Again, your mouth, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, let me see. What's up? I'm and then, uh, yeah, that song called Stacey Adams on that first No Limit oh, album. Oh, yeah. That's my joint. Stay on point like Stacey Adams. Oh, hell yeah. That shit was smooth. Yeah, he's had some, like, like he's he's had a fair mo- enough material, again, to say that he's whack, but then you could, his whack, his good shit totally outweighs oh, yeah. the whack shit. For like, sure. Like, the person that, He's basically is like, yeah, and I've kind of started to question it a little bit more because I've been getting some pushback on LL being in my top 10, right? The kind of pushback is, is well, he's had a lot of whack shit. I'm like, yeah, but he had a lot of dope shit. But no, he's had a lot of whack shit, though. So he's like a, he's like, in baseball terms, he's like a 285 hitter. Yeah, but still, I mean, LL's like a pioneer. Like, yeah. You got to get pioneer points, right? Yeah. And I think, not like. Who would you say put Def Jam on more? Um, Beastie Boys, Run DMC, or LL? I mean, long term, LL for sure. Like, really? you just see that more longevity. Really? Yeah, you I don't mean, think the Beastie, the Beastie Boys, Boys open up the market for, for white people to actually embrace the culture. Oh, yeah, they like, gave they gave Def Jam a different avenue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But L, white dudes, was, white folks was buying LL shit too. But then Run DMC then with their all, rock crossover. And then Run DMC with their rock crossover. So it's like, I think they all contributed a little bit differently. Mm. You know? I don't know if one was more, but just based on the longevity of the careers, like he, LL's done the most for Def Jam. You know what, too? The thing that I give LL, and this one of the then, arguments that I have is, is that his... He also expanded his reach by acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's been on that show forever, CSI. Oh, yep. Is that it was a C- I thought it was NCIS or some shit. He's on one of them, one of them shows. Fucking yeah, he's on one of them alphabet they... boy shows. Um, that know. was another thing I was going to say. Snoop had his little show. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, and then like he's like a genuinely good dude. He got his little <laughs> football team and shit. Wait, well, what's the name of that show again? I forget. Uh, Doggy Fizzle? I don't remember. Oh, I don't on remember. MTV? He does good shit with the youth and shit in the community. He got the like the oh, football yeah. squad that he takes all around. Yep, yep. So like he's a good dude on top of being like a dope MC. Yeah, one. Well, even though like his rap persona and his personal life seem to be at odds with one another, it seems like though he's he's been with the same lady forever. Yeah. And and, and you know, say what you want, you know, she might not be, you know, top flight on the scene type person in regards to like pushing her face in the media all the time like 
she just seems like she holds down the household. You know? Yeah. You know? And it's like, yeah, you know, he might say all that on the records, but it's afforded me the ability to have this big mansion. Right. right. You know, it, Yo, you know it's who I was amazed. Me the ability to travel and have a spa day. You know, I was amazed like that was even ever married. Who? Him? Luke. Oh yeah, Luke. Luke oh, been with his <laughs> Luke been with his wife yeah. since his two live crew days. Like he was married when the album came out. Uh Band in America. Yeah, but then, like she comes to all the shows and shit. Mm. Like she's on board. Like and he's the, like he don't really fuck around. Like I went to you ever been to a Luke show? No. Duh. I like it's at the point where it's like I I don't. I mean now nah, who knows if he's like, even still doing them? But yeah, lizard, lizard. Like I, I'm not <laughs> like I'm not fit to be at like at, at my at my stage in life. I don't see myself yeah. at that place. I've been to a Luke show. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's better than Freak Nick. The booties were shaking. It was like it was like being in a in a video. Mm. Like it's just a dope event. I mean, I wish he was still doing them for the, for the youth. To come up and like did, did, did they have like pools and like super soakers it was just and wild man, it was just wild. Like, did you I'm... do hair lizard lizard? <laughs> like, wait, what's this song? Just put him on the glass. <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> 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 fucking Sir Mix a lot. Uh, all right, all right. So yeah. shout out to Sir Mix a lot, yo. Like, uh huh. Best one of the best rappers oh, out of Seattle. Nine hundred Mix a lot. Kick them nasty. Well, he might be the only MC out of Seattle. Nah, nah. They had a couple of other rappers that I can't remember off him, but they had to be at least one more. Like, I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you have to look it up. Yeah. See, like. Seattle I mean, rappers. Seattle, great Seattle rappers. Like, you know, like the grunge scene just, like, blew up. Mm-hmm. You would think that they would go there and, like, look for other artists, like, but they were like, nah. Nah, all right. So, nah, they have to have, well, see. Doing a quick little, and I don't know why my thing is caught on Bing search. I, 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 I'm not much of a Bing fan, so anti-label out on that one. <laughs> anti-label out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No label. So, nah, they they had notable people and Hold cool on. nuts. Cool nuts. <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> I, hey, hey, this is what they have as notable mention. Common market. Criminal yeah. nation. Oh, Macklemore. Macklemore's from oh, Seattle. Oh, yeah. You see, I knew there was at least one. <laughs> you see? All right. Uh, All right, let, so let, there's some other. Uh, Ryan Lewis. Ryan Lewis? Yeah. Ryan Lewis. Why does that name sound familiar? White dude, singer. Oh, that, that's a singer. Come on. Uh, Talk a rapper. Raz Simone. Raz oh, no, it says rappers. Oh, uh, rapper? Henri Osborne. Okay. Jay Park. Okay. Sadistic. Oh. Sneak Guapo. All right. Young Dre the Truth mm-hmm. and R. A. Scion. All right. R. A. Scion looks like a. Um, oh, but come on! Don't don't have um, R. A. Scion and there's people looking for us on the. Uh, what offline. do you call them dudes? Uh, Let me see. The folks that don't have no fucking the Amish look like an Amish dude. Oh yeah, yeah. He does look straight Amish. All he, right, so he, there's he, some there's some like, notable Seattle rap, Seattle rappers like two that I've heard of. Yeah, we'll just go with Macklemore. Just be. Simple with that. And I swear there's other ones. Uh, that, that was the list. Notable Seattle yeah. rappers. I'm sure there's tons of rappers. Yeah. There's tons of rappers in Rhode Island. You know? Yeah. So. Shout out to all the ones doing their thing, making moves. No no names. I'm not going to start. Because if I start naming, then it's like, You're going to forget somebody. You'll be like, yo. Yeah. You can't shout me out on your show. You're shouting out this dude. I'm way better than this dude. Yeah, yeah. How you? All right. All right, Sion. Come on, man. Yeah, you shouting him out? Come on, dude. Oh, he get more air time than me. Like, uh, I'm sorry. Especially because it's Rhode Island. You probably know all the Rhode Island rappers. Yeah, and, you, you know. know. And, then, and then it'll be like, oh, damn, I didn't know you rap. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Oh, no, I got this. I got my sound going. Ah, damn it. You know, I have to say, as, as a as a DJ, I just came out with my, my latest podcast, uh, Autumn All Spice, available on uh, Podomatic dot com underneath DJ I Am Monkey, hashtag label out. Um, but I have to li- I, I listen to a lot of music, and sometimes I listen to some real shit music. I'm like, all right, you know what? I gotta find something in this that's a redeeming quality, and I really can't. Like I I 
can't even use like bits and pieces of this, like in a skit or something. I so like, then it gets to the point where it's like it hurts when you're listening to one of your boys thing and then you try to give them creative and constructive criticism and then they're like, yo, you're a fucking hater. Like, yo, why am I hating? Like, if I'm hating, I'm like, yo, your shit was dope. <laughs> and just leave it at that. Yeah, right. You know? Like, oh. Well, That's because people don't want, like, real friends. Well. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to, like, their projects. You know what I mean? Nobody nobody wants to hear, like, mm-hmm. yo, your shit, your, your shit needs work or your project needs this or, like, you know, because mm-hmm. it's, it's their expression mm-hmm. of what it is. But at the same time, you know, you need that that friend who will be like, yeah. you should go back to the lab. Or maybe you should get a voice coach. Or, mm-hmm. you know, I, but you your, see, your, your, your thing you built is a little crooked. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like and, if you're not honest, and it's not that you're going to feel everything they do either. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I, if I write some shit, it might not be... Like, not everybody might feel it, but then I might do some shit where I like only have the people. You know what I mean? It might be... Yeah, and, and see, like, when I give criticism, I like to say things that I like, too. I'm like, yo, what I like, number one, is the way that, at this point, how you kind of ride the beat. Now, this is kind of where I thought things kind of went off the rails here. But when you got back on it, it was like, yeah, all right, you was about it. But I don't know. It's like the tempo of the song... Your pitch, I don't know what was going on there, but something's not matching up. I'm, I'm not sure what you was fitting to do. And then they would say, well, no. When I was doing this, I, I'm like, all right, I can see that. All right. doesn't really work too well with me, but I can see how it could work well with others. You know, yeah. that's what you're I trying mean, to do. But, but still, you're a hater. Yeah, no oh, you're what. a hater. Yo, that was a hater on my shit, yo. Yeah, yeah. You know, nigga, my shit is fire, yo. My nigga, girl loves nigga it. Nigga can suck my dick. Yo, you wish I was doing that. That's why you call me a hater, because I'm not doing that. Like, <laughs> or they, Only their girl loves it. Yeah, Your girl yeah. kind of supposed to love it. But I, I like prefer to have a girl that would be like, nah. Yeah. Your shit is not, like, don't rap. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, but you see, it's like, all right, if you're going to give criticism and it's constructive, all right, cool. Let's talk about where we could build on. Like, look. I like this part, and then you could build on that, or you could build on this. This is where the constructive part is. Other than that, it's like, if you're like, yo, shit's whack. Yo, what was whack about it? Just everything was whack about it. Like, yeah, like but that, that's, that's the truth, of, though. Like, but what was it? Well, that was whack. Like, if you can't say, all right, the beat was whack, the tempo was whack, the speed was whack. Everything was whack. That covers the whole shit. The whole song was trash. Throw that shit out, start again. Mm-hmm. You know? Be like, yo, really? Because it might not be, like, technically anything wrong with the song. See? It might just be a terrible song. Well, nah, see, I've listened to so much music where it's like, all right, you know what? It might be trash here, but if you was fitting to be, like, the shit in Kenya, hey, this is what they're buying down there, man. Like, th- this would rock down in Kenya. So if this is the market that you're trying to get into, that's cool. Because this is the shit that rocks down there. Like, if you're trying to get into, like, the East uh, or the European kind of scene and that techno sound, yo, this works there, B. Like, nah, I don't like, believe you, in you, like... You got to find the market that's good for you. It's, like, people swear that no, the only market is the U.S. market. No, but if it's trash, it's trash everywhere. Nah, because some songs like might be like a hit in South Africa and you might be trending in South Africa and could barely get your friends to listen to your shit in your backyard. Like, at, you know, you have a cookout... And you're hosting the cookout, and you put on your shit, and people are like, yo, yo, I got a mixtape, yo, uh, yo, anybody got the other music? Yo, who's the DJ? Like, like, damn, niggas that my shit, I can't even listen to my music. Like, damn, that's hurt. But you're trending in South Africa. You gotta go get in where you fit in. Yeah, I can dig it. You so know, it's if like, it's about yeah. the money at the end, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't mean that your song is not trash. No, it doesn't but mean that. another man's trash. It's another man's treasure. Or one man's trash. Yeah, one man's trash is another man's. Another man's trash is just another man's trash. Yeah, it'd be like, yo, this is just plain shitty. <laughs> Even Dung Beetles ain't messing with this shit. <laughs> right? Like, yo, when Dung Beetles like, uh, I'm good. <laughs> shit's just way too liquidy for me. Yo, what's going on? Like, so. Uh, yeah, that's funny. But yeah, man. Did you, yeah. did you Black Friday shop? Yeah, and the wax shit. Were you out there, like. Nah, um, we, were, we weren't out there dumb early in the morning. Did you bring a tent? 
No. No. Nah, did you have to use camping out? Did you have to use flashlights? No. Nah. Like, nah, we did you have to turn your lights on when you drove there? Yeah. Yeah, that's too early, dog. No, nah, but see, this is the thing. Because number one, like when we when I woke up, like I had bad acid reflux, so I was sour. So I had it like real hot in my chest. So it was like, yo, I threw up a little bit and I took some pills. I'm like, all right, I'm cool, I'm good, as long as I don't talk. <laughs> so I was on that kind of sour time, like, ugh, ugh. First of all, that's gross. Yeah, it, it really is. And that's uh, a part of getting old where you get you have to worry about I don't know about that. shit like that. I don't know that. about that. As somebody who's older than you and has never really had acid reflux, uh, I can't really relate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that that's just my struggles. I don't Black Friday shop because none of this shit I ever want ever goes on sale for Black Friday. It depends on what you're really looking for, though. No, no, nothing. Well, it never, I, like, if I'm buying shit for Christmas, like, I'm spending, like, like, I don't, like, and then I want the shit I want. Like, I'm not going to go get a, like, you know, like, high-sense television just because it's <laughs> $150 for yeah. a 50-inch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. It's still a low-end TV at a low-end price. Even lower-end price because it's Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. You know, but then sometimes no, no, you... No, but you see a TV like that is good for the basement here, you know, in, in Will Green Studio. So that way it's like, it's not the main feature, but it's it's a backup type thing, you know? No. No, I like... I like, like, it, like for a guest room, you wouldn't buy a TV like that for your guest room? For, no. So that way your guests... No. So that way like they I, could like, li- listen to TV while I, you're do- trying to do it in the background? Nah. Because I need... I mean, there'll be a TV in there, mm. but... Was it going to be an old school sc- It's going to be TV? like... Um, please silence your phone, sir. Nah, I still got my thing on. Um, what was I saying? Oh, like I, I like all my TVs to match. Mm. You know, like all the TVs in my house are the same. Mm. It's the same brand. They're different TVs, but... Yeah, same uh, brand. Own brand. So, like, if it's all Sony, mm-hmm. and that room is going to be Sony, mm-hmm. I'm not going to downgrade the guest room. Uh, put put the... <laughs> no label. Put the, put the black and white. Mm-hmm. Put the black and white in there. With, with the knobs? The, with the knobs and shit. Like, you Yo, go into that room, and you just flash back to, like, 1985. Yeah, turn it to channel U, and then Ch- you can <laughs> use the, the bottom ones, but you got to put it to U first for the bottom ones to work. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. like shit. these today's youth will never know the struggle no. of having to balance between those channels <laughs> and hope nobody like somebody coming and like jump too hard and it snaps back and you gotta uh, find that sweet spot Yo, you know what too growing up i used to watch on channel 36 i used to watch are you being served on a black and white tv I never knew that lady's hair was different colors. Yo, I never <laughs> knew her hair was... When, pe- when when I saw it on the color TV, I was like, oh, shit, her hair's different colors? Wow. Like, yo, what... Yo, the fuck? Like, how was you watching the show? I'm like, it was a black and white TV. Like, it's either black, <laughs> white, or gray. Like, there's right? no, like, That's it. Like, it just looked like she had, like, gray hair. Like, that was it. Oh, yeah, man. I had a little. I love my little black and white TV. Oh man, I, love I wish it. I could, sometimes I wish I could just change my TV to black and white. You can, can you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like all TVs have like. Fancy I mean, but TVs. it should be like a button. I don't want to have to go in and like oh uh, the settings, like, go and... all the settings. Like I'm doing photo editing. I just want to be able to be uh, like, I want to watch the show in black and white. Uh, and just click on that filter. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. It's kind of like it's kind of weird. Like who wants to watch black and white TV? But like. I think we just like black and white photos. I think it would just be cool to watch nah, sometimes. Some shows have a better feel to them when they're in black and white. I, I think like they did Blade Runner in black and white recently. Like they redid it in black and white. Don't yeah. know why, but it, it that's it, weird. Yeah, and it it takes away from the color from the umbrellas uh, during the rain scenes. Uh, but, oh, shit. How did we even get here? We were talking about Black Friday. Oh, yeah. Now we're but talking nah, about black and white TVs. Nah, but seriously, though, like, on, on Black Friday, we went about, like, 2 o'clock. And it was, like, it was kind of... Like, In the morning? At, yeah, it was it was a weird time because I think they opened at 12. Oh, right? okay. So, so you so, was, like, you beat the, the everybody getting trampled and shit. Yeah, yeah. We beat that rush. <laughs> so it's not just that. Then it's, like, it's, it's that weird hour where it's, like, whoever was at the club 
they're leaving while we're going in town. So it was just a weird floor of traffic. So it was hardly anybody because we, we don't shop at this one here locally. We go into Mass, right? The the one in Seacon. So we, we went out there and... Best Buy? Nah, I didn't even go to Best Buy. I went to Walmart. Oh, uh, Walmart. Oh, yeah, label out. So we went there and got what we needed. And rather than going, because they had some dumb long lines up front at those uh, regular registers, we just checked out electronics. <laughs> we only had like one person in front of us. Oh, yeah. She was only checking out one thing. So it was like my daughter, she checked out. My lady checked out. I checked out. And we was done. And then when we went to the front, we passed all the people in the long ass line. And we had our receipt. It was like, oh, oh yeah, you're good, you're good. And then left, boom. So we only spent like maximum probably about half hour, 45 minutes inside there. And didn't have to punch nobody in the stomach over no shit. Did so, you finish Did you finish your whole list? I didn't really have a list because number one, it's like, whatever I need to get, I'm going to get. And no, I mean, did you finish your list like that for the people you're shopping for? No, no, no. I, I didn't even. Did I start? Yeah, I kind of started. I I don't want to give away any kind of hints or any clues. Um, But, yeah, I kind of started. Where where do you hide your presents at, yo? Where do I hide my presents? Damn, you got me snitching? Yeah, we got you. Ah, (laughs) Nah, but do you have to, like, you got to, like, change your hiding spot around? Like, is uh, is your lady, like, the, the, the Snoop detective? Well, number one, it's always best to not hide things. So, that... Uh, like if, so, if then you, you just lie about what the, who the gifts are for? No, like but if like, anything, I would put it in plain view, and plain sight, so it just blends in with everything else. <laughs> so it's like if there's damn it, <laughs> I want to start giving it away. Nah, so um, if there's like the bookshelf, and I got a book, or if I got a a movie or a CD, I'll just put it amongst the book, like. Not technically hiding it, it's in plain view. Uh-huh. If there's a stack of CDs, right, I'll just put it, not the top one or the bottom one, I'll probably put it somewhere in that stack of CDs, and it's there. Right? Yeah, your lady's about to listen to this shit and catalog the CDs right now, and well, it's just periodically check. So well, you best not buy no CDs this year. Well, the ultimate Jedi is like, now, if that's what she wants to do, is start going through books. It's now stop organizing the book <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's kind of a Jedi mind trick also. So it works on multiple levels. That's why that was the one clue that I was fitting to give uh, up. I but, just... Uh, yeah, that, that was the one clue I was I store gifts give. off-site. Yeah, that too. You know? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's always the best way to. You know, you, you have... I sprinkle gifts all over the city. I hide them in <laughs> other people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, but you see... If somebody, like, if, say, you bought your girl something and you're trying to stash it here and my lady ends up finding it, like, yo, who's negligee is this? I don't know why she would use the phrase <laughs> negligee, <laughs> but who's negligee is this? Like, uh, I, I was holding it for a friend. This is the kind of shit that gets <laughs> you in trouble. Like, I, right, who's your friend? Like, oh, you got condoms now. Oh, I was holding it for a friend. Uh huh. Who's your friend? Um, why why they need condoms? I don't know why they need you holding the, your their condoms. Yo, why would I? What, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> First like, of all, I'm not really like a negligee dude. <laughs> negligee. Like it's not really like I'm not like I dig it. Like mm-hmm. you know, ladies want to do like sexy shit for their dude. Mm-hmm. Just come to bed naked. Boom. It's, it's go time. Yeah, but I don't need all the all the belts and buckles and snaps and like or nah. wear some breakaway shit. No, nah, but all right. So let, let me like wear a negligee with like to just I can just rip it in half. Uh, or like Hulkamania or style. Or like, you know with some like some Velcro something and just. Uh, and okay. uh, like, rock and like, roll. like like the tailway uh, basketball pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! It's game time. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Right, you know, well, I mean, then, it's no. just like where when she come to bed in the fucking sweatpants and a hoodie. Like, you know what time it is. She must be on a period. Sweatpants and a hoodie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when she come with the breakaways. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, shit, baby, got the breakaways, huh? Uh-huh. All right. 
Let, let me get up and start stretching. You know, you get the get the basketball <laughs> horn and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Number twenty three from North Carolina, <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, now I want that whole opening for the bedroom and shit with the lights. Oh, the, the laser, the laser show. <laughs> And the smoke the, the, machine. The laser show and the smoke machine and shit. I record my own intro <laughs> with the echo and everything. From Michigan, 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 Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> we got Daryl, Kate, man. More. Right? No, no, man, not that music. Oh, oh you're gonna go with the. Dun, 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 you're going with that one? No. What, what, what song are you going with? I don't know, but like none of those. Uh, you're gonna go with a Drake song? I think I might go with the Bulls. The Bulls had like the dopest intro. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. And then this was with right. pyrotechnics mm-hmm. in the bedroom and shit, and f- like flex on them like WWE. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, stay away from the pyrotechnics. I'll tell you that right now. Pyrotechnics in the bedroom, not a c- cool thing. Not that I've experienced it myself. It's just uh, yeah. No, no, I'm just saying, just in general. You like you like sparklers and putting them on the side of the bed and shit. Yeah, yeah, and they catch catch on your your satin sheets, and your satin sheets go up real quick. <laughs> nah, I've seen it on TV shows. I I just learn from other people's mistakes. Like, yeah, like you want to try to keep your flame in a controlled setting. You know, don't try to get too wild and then your curtains get caught on fire. You know, nah. I don't know, I don't know That's man. the wrong kind of hot like night to have. Low level, low level pyrotechnics. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you don't want any I got low ceilings though, so. Even if it's our birthday, stay away from the little sparkling. I'm going to just, I'm going to just keep it with the candles. light show. The light show and the smoke. Yeah, the light show and the smoke is perfect. <laughs> and the intro. <laughs> and from... Detroit, Michigan. Right. Tara. DJ Caveman. Ma. <laughs> like, yo, this dude's a baller. <laughs> right. Babe, get ready for the light show. Get ready for the light show. I'm bringing the lights home from the storage unit. Because yeah. I, got, I got my, I'm going to set it up. Yeah, but you can't have that on like a Tuesday, though. Why not? Because, you know, your lady might have work in the morning and then she will go to sleep. Like, yo. You fitting to put in some kind of work, and then I my, my body's gonna be sore, and I gotta go to work tomorrow, and I'm not gonna take a shower because it's too stupid cold, and I'm gonna be smelling like sex around teenage boys. Like, no, I don't want to do it tonight. First like, of all, <laughs> she teaches second grade. Um, they don't even know what that's about. Yeah, they shouldn't know Sec- what that smells. Like. Secondly, <laughs> babe, get ready for the light show, because. Love knows no boundaries like Tuesdays. Mm, that's, you know, that's true. We get it in at all times. Yeah, but it was Taco Tuesday and I got gas. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> sometimes you yeah. just got to let it go. Just yeah. don't shit on me. Yeah, and don't try to be... about the shitting on me. Yeah, don't try to be cute and put a thumb in a butt and it backs up the fart. <laughs> try to put a thumb oh, in a... You're taking it to a different level, sir. <laughs> Um, Try to hold the font in so that way it doesn't leak out on you. So now you know that Daoud is. Uh, nah, hey, nah. That was one of those like. Wait, hold on. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. Hold experimental on. type hold on. dudes. Nah, nah, hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Everybody puts a finger in the butt once in a while, but he likes to put fingers in the butt when his girl got gas. Uh, hold on. That's what you just said. Well, I'm just saying. I was giving a suggestion. That's, That's what a, you that might. That was a very detailed suggestion. What somebody might do, not what I do. Like, come on now. It's not a bowling ball. <laughs> like, come on. Like, you know, just put your fingers in every hole and try to. Yes. Try what's to wrong? roll it down. The- <laughs> Actually, what's wrong with that? I'm going to try it, babe. Well. Get ready for the bowling ball. <laughs> the, the- <laughs> <laughs> and then you follow through. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now nah, that was one of the tips that you told me about with bowling. Oh no, you, you got to follow, follow through. you follow through, you bring your hand. I don't know if you want to really follow through the other way. <laughs> nah. The other way, like that's that's not good follow through. Nah, that's yeah, that's not bowling ball action anymore. That's because then, like, what if she slips off the bed? And then you got a grip in the inside. You can break. Yeah, her. it could be an ugly situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. 
Especially with satin sheets, your, your life will slip around, though. <laughs> you got satin sheets? No, I don't. I, you know a lot about satin sheets, though. I had them when I, when I was, what, about 20 years ago? They I do look wild apartment. slippery, though. Hmm? They do look wild slippery. They are mad slippery. I had them when I was back, when I had when I first moved out of my folks' house, and I had my, my apartment, well, I had my roommates and shit, but I had my own room, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be the lover boy. I'm, I'm going to get these satin sheets. Shit was dumb slippery. How many times you fall off the bed, yo? Um, sober or drunk? Just in general, like drunk, like I would just yeah. sleep on the couch if I had satin sheets. Nah, I probably fell off drunk about twice. Like I probably thought I was sitting on the end of the bed, and I was like, Ooh, and I slipped off. That was back when um, Outcast came out with that um, with that CD. The fuck is that CD? You got to put Velcro on the bed. Yeah. For when you smash it, you're like, yo, babe, put on, these Vel- put on these Velcro gloves. <laughs> Coming slip. back from Liquid Lounge. Slip off mid-stroke. Uh, what? <laughs> no, nah, they were dumb slippery, though. Yeah, I've slipped off. I don't think I've ever had satin sheets, so I don't know. Yeah, man. Like, they're, they're cool. for the, Not really for the winter time. You know? That's not really the move. And then it's not really good if you have jewelry on that would catch on it, because then uh, it'll start to snag. Nah, you don't want that. Um, I like. I just like. I like like five thousand count sheets, like the hotel shit. You know what? Too talking about uh, Black Friday. That was one of the deals. Yo, this dude. I guess my lady went and he. She asked him. Yo, uh, where can I buy? Uh, where, where can I find the, the thread count sheets? So he sent a, oh yeah, such and such and such and such. So when we made our, our rounds, we ended up finding it. And she was like, yo, that's the dude right there. It's like, yo, so wait, he's standing right there. The thing is right here. And he told you it's over there. <laughs> yo. <Damn. laughs> yeah, it's, yo, it's over there. Yo, take a left, take another left, take a right, take a left. Like he gave her that kind of direction when it was right next to him. But Damn, see, the, should be fired. The whack thing was it was the six hundred count that that we saw down the aisle was like seventy something dollars. The eleven hundred dollar threat, uh, eleven hundred threat count was twenty something dollars. That's when we end up getting. Yeah, yo, thousand count sheets. Woo. You might not. You might call out of work. You ever had thousand count sheets? Um, no, but I figured uh, I'm about. Are they that. Egyptian? I think so. Yeah, you bought them. They, they were hotel style too. Man. Like there are there are very few delicacies in life, mm-hmm. and I'm using the term delicacy mm-hmm. because that's what it feels like when you're under thousand count sheets. Really, like your bed just feels delicious. And you know what too? Like we end up getting one of those memory foam things to put on top of the mattress. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the bed is extra cushy too. So man, listen, put mm-hmm. them shits in on for like a long weekend, take a vacation day. You know what I'm saying? Because you're about to just... And you know what? Well, you know what? I, I got to wash them first. It's like being in a cloud. Really? Well, I got something to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> but now I want... I got to go find 1,000 count sheets today. I'm telling you, hey, if you go to Walmart label out, um, you could probably find the 1,000... No, they're 1,100 count, thread count. I need some I need some Egyptian... And they're like... Babe, we getting 1,000 count sheets... Mm-hmm. We're moving on up. We're going. Yeah. We're going to christen them bad boys. Uh, what? <laughs> Listen, I'm just letting you know. You uh, don't just put thousand count sheets on the bed for sleeping. Well, yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. It might, it might be so comfortable, I might be like, yeah, can we just cuddle tonight? Nah. You ever have sex on a cloud? Me neither. So that's what it's like. <laughs> That's what it's gonna feel like on thousand count sheets. <laughs> that sounds like that one line. Uh, you ever had sex on a <laughs> waterbed on a boat? <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. Let's find out. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh man! But yeah, but, but <laughs> you can find them out there though. Oh no! Yeah, I'm adding that to the Christmas. Shopping list. Yeah, that that was that was the only thing really on my list to to get outside of the the magic bullet. <laughs> Going to the store asking them. So um, you bought sheets and sex toys. No, 
yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's an interesting somebody, Christmas list, man. Yeah, yeah. You're asking the, the, the clerk, the, the teenage clerk that's working the overtime, like, uh, yo, um, where can I find that magic bullet? Like, excuse me, sir? <laughs> Hopefully if they're 15, they don't know what that shit is. Yeah, you would hope so. You, you would know, hope but so. But in the age of the interweb, yeah, yeah. you know, you kids might hear you talking about it and go look that shit up. Yeah, the magic bullet. Hopefully the little blender thing comes in. Magic up. bullet. You know, like the ninja? The ninja. <laughs> That's a new one? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, where can I find the blenders? <laughs> yeah, oh, extra utilize, problem. Utilize the right terminology. Yeah. Yo, we got some interesting interviews coming up over the couple of weeks, too. We're going to tease these shits oh, yeah. before we break up out of here. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. We got a renowned uh, relationship counselor, a.k.a. sex therapist. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> calling in from Australia. Well, she, I think she'll be in the States, but we've been friends for a long time. Uh, mm. Just did a TED Talk. Uh, damn, I gotta look up her last name because I don't want to fuck it up. Uh, so I know her. I know her maiden name. So, but so she's a sex expert, and she's gonna. Yo, so, we're just gonna have. So wait, we're gonna ha- uh, have some people go to the website, the Facebook page, the maybe get Saturday some questions. Yeah, get, we'll some... get some questions. If y'all got relationship questions, you know, we'll, right. we'll field a couple. Uh, Amanda Owen Janes. All right, all she's right. gonna join us at some point in the next couple of weeks. We're just trying to nail down a date because Australia's like 13 hours ahead. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Um, of course, the man Maurice Loman, the Marathon Panda, still on his run streak. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be coming in, uh, and we got a big lineup. It's a good good lineup of like guests that we're trying to get. These are the next couple. And the homie John Van Heen is going to come on. Uh, professional bowler. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I we're going to talk about that bowling life. Uh, and that uh, the, that bowling move in the bed. No, if, if you ever use the bowling move in the bed. Yeah, yeah. Ask him. And we could ask the sex well, expert hey, about that. A... About the bowling move with, with, uh, the, with the film and the holes. <laughs> see, people can't see the arm movement that I'm it's doing. It's violent. It's, yeah. it's super violent. Like yeah. I don't know. You no, know, because you gotta throw the bowling ball down the lane, and then you gotta follow through. Like like you told me. Like it's like when you follow through, you touch the brim of your hat and you bring it down, like like, like Michael Jackson. <laughs> like I swear, that's what you told me. Like it's touch the brim of your hat. I don't know about the end part. But uh, the I mean, Michael Jackson. The Michael the, Jackson. I don't know what nah, that is. Nah, nah. You know how he tips his hat, he bends his head. Well, you know. I'm, I'm glad the, the Michael Jackson is like, grabbing your crotch and kicking up your legs. He ain't bold and like. No, but I still got that four finger years. bowling ball yeah, upstairs. Like four finger bowling ball. <laughs> when I used to work in the he bowling got, alley. He got three in the stink. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Keep that far in. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, man. But, but yeah, other than that, like, um, yeah, I well, I have that new podcast of mine. Uh, DJ Iron Monkey presents Autumn All Spice on Check it automatic out. dot com. Also on my Facebook page, DJ Iron Monkey. Um, yeah, just trying to keep it busy with the music, and me and my lady are probably gonna work on a holiday one. I actually put her podcast that she did because I talked her into it. Um, oh, that's what's up. So she she had. Posted and I actually posted her latest one on my page, also on Facebook, DJ and Monkey. So yeah, just for the holidays and just different listening for if you're traveling, cleaning up, cooking, and just going shopping. Just nice different music to listen to. Yo, now is the official time where you can put your Christmas tree up. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the day after Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Uh, starting the day after Thanksgiving, rather you can put your tree up. You know, without getting ridiculed <laughs> by the people who like me who hate when mm-hmm. motherfuckers skip holidays to get to other holidays. You know, I don't have a tree up yet. I'm not really a huge. We had a tree last year, I think, but who knows if we're getting a tree. Um, real tree versus Christmas fake shopping. tree. Real tree, man. Yeah, real tree. Yeah. Real tree. I got a Dyson now, so it don't matter if oh. it's, you know. Um, that sucks for the pines on the floor. <laughs> Back in jokes. I don't know what just happened. Yeah, just, yeah. On that note, uh-huh. we're going to wrap it up. All right. Another Saturday morning conversation, episode nine. Nine, nine, nine. In the books. All right. Get with us next week. Another episode. DJ Caveman. DJ I Am Monkey. Yeah, yeah. Peace.